Okay, I'm here with a couple of tips that I've come across while making this. Your large Aileen's tacky glue works, it goes in here quite nicely to put your glue on those ledges. If I tried to do it with the smaller, this is the five fluid ounces with the, the lid that you can stand up in there. It's, um, you sort of push against the sides, the opposite side when you do that. So I tend to put the glue on the top of those ledges with the eight fluid ounce bottle. And then I grab the ledge and I just put a little bit on the front side sections because sometimes they hang over those ledges. So then I just take the ledge, I stick it in here like uh, this, vertical, pop it onto that ledge and then push it down, turn it there and then push push down on the top there so that it goes all the way in and then push up against that ledge and then squeeze it so that these the sides of the ledge adhere to the outer casing and just all the while just putting pressure on that um, piece on the sides where the ledge actually sitting. Now I've got this glue tool, hot glue gun tool, and I just scrape that excess glue off with that. Um, it all depends on how you're going to embellish it. I think um, glue actually, it affects your surface when you're um, painting it. I'm just going to spray paint the insides of these with a primer, a white primer, um, but I'm going to paint the outsides. So I want to try and minimize the amount of glue that I'm using. So now I've done away with the um, bulldog clips because with the Aileen's tacky um, it tends to to take hold fairly quickly as long as you put pressure on there that should stay together until you're ready to do your ledges a couple of minutes holding it like that just I just tend to hold it and try and clear away the glue excess glue and that okay so now with your um, 8 ounce bottle what I do is I get a jar and sit it in there like that when I'm not using it with the lid on otherwise it's going to seep out um, but that's just for the ledges so for the um, spaces so I turn it on your side you're not going to be able to see this but I'll show you in a minute now with the spaces how they're angled that pointy side is going to sit in there like that okay so what I do is I tend to hold it between my four um, index finger and thumb like that I turn it over then I get the glue and then I cover it completely with the Aileen's tacky glue all the way around the edge and then in the middle now Turn it over, that's the way it's going in, so you need to put glue on that side there. Okay, and then what I tend to do is just flip it over with my middle finger and then push it in and push it down and pushing it up against that ledge, my ledge there. And then I just sit there and I hold that for a bit. And I grab my um, heat gun tool and just wipe away any excess glue while I'm pressing firmly on that spacer. Now I'm calling these certain names so you can familiarise yourself with them when you go to create. 
if you're going to and I have a document below this linked below this um, video that will show you what I mean it explains the definitions of what I'm using all right so this spacer oops that's the template okay okay got it like there like that that's going to sit in there like that okay so I'm just going to slide it out hold it between my index and thumb actually I'm going to hold it over here because I can glue better with my right hand okay so that's the way it's going in so I need to flip it over apply the glue now flip it flip it back over the way it's going all right so you now need to know you know now know that the glue needs to go on this side uh, where am I this this side here so just test it like turn it over and you know it's going in that way so then the glue's got to go on that side so and then I swap it over and plop it down Right. be back when I come to the last section well I've come up with a bit of a dilemma well it's not a dilemma but I've noticed that one side is higher than the other and that's going to happen you're not going to cut everything exactly the same as much as you try so I've just measured that to there is just over a fraction over the six and a quarter so if I put that one there that's double the amount over the six and a quarter so that means that that side's higher than that side so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shave down so it's going to go in there like that that one so I want to shave it down a bit so it's not so tall now we have a, a bit of room to um, move with the ledges the ink pads sit in there quite freely so we've got a bit of room for adjustment so let me just grab this one and see it's a little bit so we might be able to do that to the other one as well to a, the one on top of it as well so it's going in there like that Alrighty, let's see what we've got here now. Alright, so right over to the edge there, and that's just on the top of that ledge at six and a quarter, and that's slightly over. That's okay, it's the last ledge, it's fine. Now, you'll notice that, I'll put that in there like that, you've got a bit of, okay, room either side there but with the the top one we haven't got the spaces there yet but we really don't need them because there's going to be a lid like the top of it's going to sit there like that so that's what it's going to look like but if you wanted to for aesthetic purposes you can actually put the spaces in there but there'll be nothing sitting on top of the spaces so um, I did it to this one only because I had to um, lengthen it so that's what I wanted to show you as well I remember I added a quarter of an inch to this one so if you see here they're pretty close to the height um, there is a hair's difference um, this one's just that much taller because we've cut it and added it but what I could do is sand a bit off still 
shades a little bit more but I'll work on that and all should be fine. I'm going to go with that. I think that's pretty good. Yep. Actually, this side's probably a bit. I'll live with that. That should be fine. Okay. <laughs> Six more to go. Now, with these, you'll notice that, okay, they came off together like that. But that side and that side need to be on the bottom of your casing. So they came off like that. So if you tried to put this one over here, it wouldn't, um, you'll see that it's not quite straight there. So it needs to be over that way. So you need to turn it over so that the sides um, are straight and there's no angle. So if I put it, um, how was I going to do it? That way is right, but if I do it that way, it's not. It's coming in at an angle here. It's, this is this was the straight edge here. So that's that's the straight edge. So I had to turn it over and glue it down there. Although that one is going to go over there like that. And it stays the same. Okay. Hope you understand that. Even that's the that's the diagonal. Okay. So that's the straight edge. So the diagonal. Over there, like that, together. That's the diagonal. The straight edge is the one that needs to go on the bottom of the casing. So this one sits over there nicely. This one here, you need to flip it over and sit it there on the other side. Okay? Okay, so I just sliced this in two on the diagonal and obviously I haven't cut it correctly because when I put them together and stand them up one's bigger than the other and that's how we get the inconsistency with the height on both sides so what I'm going to do or going to attempt to do is chop it down so it's even And wish me luck. Okay, let's see if I can't do this now. Bit of a mess. So I think I should start again because we'll see. Okay, now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, see, one's... No, they're not too bad now. This one, what I could do is grab this. Sand it back so it looks fairly even. So, alright, I'm going to use those, I think. See how we go anyway had to be better than it was because that was a big difference. Okay, let's see how we go now. 
yep I can work with that okay I forgot to mention that the reason that I had those angled pieces down the bottom um, is because if it's on a spinner and you're spinning it fairly quickly um, they could slide out and that is why I've put them on an angle um, like that so it's it's a slight angle if you didn't want it you didn't have you don't have to have it I just think it reduces the um, well mine don't really fall out when I spin it on my other one that I made and it's made a different way but I liked the fact that they're just slightly on an angle you may not want them you may think that the ink I don't know whether it affects it or not the ink sort of running down one end of it I don't know but I just I like the fact that they're on a slight angle so that's the reasoning behind these um, angled pieces at the bottom all right back to it